Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is Graz bringing you a new series about Terraria. This is what it's going to be like when you first start off. Actually, I kind of intended the series to be kind of like a walkthrough, almost, on what you're going to do from where you begin up to fighting bosses, pretty much straight up into hard mode. So this will give people a pretty good idea of what's going on and where to go from where they start at. Now, first things first, uh, I want to get a house built. That way I can get my base of operations up and working. And I'm hoping to maybe shoot one or two videos a week about this. Uh, and another thing really set in stone just at this time. So when more comes up, I'll announce it during a video or whatnot. Or you can go to our website, www.powerboypro.com for more information. out and getting all your mining done and such. So, right now, I'm just getting some wood set up to build the first house. Which I think I just might place right here. I just use the pickaxe to form up some dirt and everything. And try to level this area out. Now, of course, coming from near end game to starting over, isn't exactly the most funnest thing to do, but, I don't know, it is kind of fun in a way because, you know, after a while, doing all the other stuff, it just seems like it gets old after a bit, and restarting over from scratch kind of just gives you that new fresh feeling. And again, I forgot how annoying these slimes are too, once you start from scratch as well. Warm up some dirt, we can use it to fill in some holes and level out the terrain. So we'll just start filling up. I'm surprised I actually have copper right here to right off the bat, so that gives me a pretty good start stone right here. I thought you were gonna say I was gonna say stepping stone, didn't you? Always learn something new and interesting. Rabbit. I think I'm some choppers tree down. No point having a floating tree island. Jesus, these animals just come to get slaughtered. Alright. There we go. Now, of course, I'll have to go back and make some more items as well. But in the meantime, we'll just mow all this down. original is axe how long it takes to chop down a tree. I'm used to actually using a chainsaw. Get out of here, slime. Get out of here, you're not wanted. Okay, so start filling it up. Once the guy decides to stay out of the way. Trying to make this pre-level up here. Then later on, as we progress further down in the game, we'll change it around, make a mode or something in here. Especially once you get into hard mode. Hard mode's a little bit different beast. Especially when you have a blood moon come along, and you have clowns throwing bombs. Now, of course, it sounds funny at first, but then. The first time you have a clown throw a bomb at your house and destroy out half your wall. You're just kind of like, what the hell is that? So, you must be prepared for the future. And what the future may hold. Alright, just filling up some dirt. You can just call me a dirt farmer. <laughs> Stupid slime. Get out of here. I should make a pit just for slimes. There we go. I should have brought one of my characters over and made this a lot faster, but then that would negate the whole point of 
doing it this way. Oh, you know what? Let me just chop these trees down here. And then from there, I'll go back and start building. I could just build it right here. And then I'll just have that area just to level out. Alright, there we go. This takes a little while. What is this, the wooden axe? A keen copper axe. Well, I'm not too keen on this axe. It sucks. That's pretty interesting. They never used to start off with names like that. So. Once again, the last patch kind of adds a twist to everything in the game. Alright. We got 30 acorns. Which I don't need. 81 lumber. So we can get started building. I think I'll just make it six high at first. There we go. Nothing too special. Ah, crap. I hate when that happens. ready. Up and running. There we go. Um, what else? Some wooden walls. We're gonna need some wooden walls, definitely. Fill in the back. Night's starting to slowly come, so this is gonna be interesting. zombies coming in my house right now. I don't even have any armor. Alright, fill in the hole. Oh, I guess I didn't make enough. Alright, make some more. Make a door. Go back and make a door. Okay, there we go. I'll make some more wooden walls. Fill in the holes. some slime so I can make some torches. Alright, there we go. Alright, well we at least we got a we got a, a place. At least we have a place of some sort of residency. Set up a table. Chairs. Yeah. Might as well get this stone. You never know when I can start using it. Don't want to leave it just sit there and totally forget about it. At some point I want to start using more stone. be another area that'll have to be filled in. So my guy gets beaten up over here by a slime. Let me go bail him out. Mm, never mind. He seems to survive the onslaught. Oh, take his tree out. After about 20 swings. There we go. I think I'll just take and level this out. That way... Get in the house. 
I think I can make torches. There we go. So, fill in the hole next, and then... There it is. Stupid guide. It's already gonna be nighttime anyway, so it's not like he's gonna be able to do much outside. And of course I'll have to actually get some other stuff too to build the bed, so I can use my spawn point. now so he made pretty good progress. I'm sorry about the jump but it was a lot of work so it would have been a lot of basically it would have been a big uh, big wait for everybody. No point in making everybody go through and sit there have to watch me knock down walls and put up stuff and move stuff around. But anyway, almost done. I think I'm going to wrap this video up. Not much to it. I'll resume more later. I'll probably try to put a second episode out toward the end of the week where I'll make another level, get started mining, because right now I've got like, what, 11 copper ore. I've already started a small mine shaft over here. I'll just continue to mine that, then I'll mine down. But other than that, you know, that's pretty, pretty much how it's starting off, so we'll, we'll go deeper into the next episode. I thank you for watching this one. I hope you found it somewhat enjoyable. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And I hope to see you again next time. Take care.